Hey guys, what is up? Shin055 here with another rant, actually. I haven't made one of these in forever. Um, main, uh, mainly, I want to discuss uh, this topic that comes up every once in a while, especially with uh, Nintendo. Um, basically, what this rant is about is... Um, it's hard to explain, but... I hate it when uh, a game comes out that's similar to a game that Nintendo made and all the Nintendo fans get up in arms and complain about it. Um, this actually happens more often than you think. Um, because like a lot of people feel that everyone copies Nintendo and what they do. Honestly, um, the, I'm, I'm going to say just before I get into this little rant, I do like Nintendo. I respect them as a company. Um, I respect them in making video games. They've been around forever. They do a lot of innovative stuff. Uh, I respect what they do. And honestly, I do like Nintendo. This rant's going to come off sounding like I hate Nintendo, but... The truth is, I really don't. I really like Nintendo. The The reason that it's going to come off like I hate Nintendo is because I'm not in love with Nintendo. I don't think everything they do is great. I don't think that they're just the best video game company. I do think they're a very good one. They're one of the best. But I don't think they're the best. And I'm not super in love with Nintendo. Mainly because I didn't get really into Nintendo games when I was a kid. I was more of a Sony person growing up. But uh, still, Nintendo is a very good company. And I don't hate it in any shape or form. Okay. Let, let's just put that out there. Okay, anyway. When a game comes out that's similar to a game that Nintendo makes. Or one of... Nin yeah, that Nintendo makes. Uh, Nintendo fans get up in arms about it, like, all the time. The most recent example of this is PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Um, mainly people are complaining that this is just a carbon copy of, uh, Super Smash Brothers, and, um, it's not original at all, and, um, that it, it, it's just a copy of... A great Nintendo game. Honestly, I'm not going to argue with you there. They definitely got the idea from uh, Super Smash Brothers. It's blatantly obvious, yes, they got the idea from it. But I don't think that automatically makes it a less a lesser of a game than Super Smash Brothers, mainly because I haven't played it yet. No one has played the full version of this game yet. Uh, some people played uh, demos of uh, PlayStation All-Stars, but the real game hasn't come out yet, so none of us can say if it's going to be as good as Super Smash Bros., not as good as Super Smash Bros. I'm going to give you most likely it's probably not going to be as good as Super Smash Bros. Brawl, mainly because this is the first game that Sony made like this, so this is basically their first try. So, I, I'm expecting there to be flaws. I'm expecting there to be the game not to be as maybe good as Super Smash Bros. Brawl because Nintendo had three times, three already three times of making Super Smash Bros. And this is the first time Sony's ever making Super Smash Bros. version their own. So, I'm not going to argue that they got the idea off of it. But I hate how Nintendo fans... Mainly Nintendo fans, because I've been wa reading a lot of blogs about this, and it seems to be coming from mostly Nintendo fans, some Sony fans too, and they're getting mad that PlayStation isn't outright saying, oh, we got the idea from Super Smash Brothers. Because I watched um, a rant, almost, like a rant sort of on this. It wasn't completely a rant, but it was very similar. And, um... The guy was complaining, and he said, Sony should give credit to Super Smash Brothers and say they got the idea off them, and that 
this is not an original idea whatsoever. Honestly, they don't have to do that. Um, I think that's a lot of bull. I don't think they should give Nintendo any credit for making this game. Because this is their own original idea. See, um... I took advertising for, um... In high school for three years. Uh, I started out in graphic design, then you went to advertising, then you went to advanced advertising. And... In that class, we used Photoshop and stuff like that. And in that class, um, when you're making like a poster for something or like a magazine cover, and you want to use someone else's image, like you have like another image, there's a rule that you could do where you could use someone else's work, but you if you make it your own, like you can make it your own. Mainly that rule is called the 70-30 rule. And what it says, as long as I change 70% of a picture and keep about 30% of it, I can say it's my own work. So basically, what that rule means is, um, say, take, the, take for example the Mona Lisa. Say I took the Mona Lisa in Photoshop and I, um, I changed the background and then I changed her shirt color, and then I changed her hair color, and then I changed her eye color, and then moved her hands around in a different position, and made her eyes look somewhere else, and changed enough of the picture that a roughly 70% of it is changed and my own idea, and 30% of it is I can keep the same. So basically what it means is I can keep like the main idea of the picture of Mona Lisa, but add my own twist on it so that it's my work and I can call it my own. So I could take my version of Mona Lisa that's changed 70% of it and I could say it's my own work. I don't have to give credit to Da Vinci or anything else or any museum. Like, it's my own work. I created this. Even though I used the Mona Lisa as a basis, I changed enough of it so that I can use my own work. I think that rule also applies to video games. That's why you can see a lot of similar level designs or parts of levels or similar ideas used, but they changed enough of it to call it their own personal unique work. And I feel the same is with PlayStation All-Stars. They took 30% of what Brawl is, basically the main idea of Super Smash Bros., but they changed it enough to call it their own original idea. So, basically, they put their own characters in, they have their own stages, they have their own way of winning with getting your special meter up and killing them that way. They're probably going to have their own game modes, they're probably going to have different boss fights, they're going to have their own unique uh, storyline and ideas, and I bet they're going to have a lot of unique stuff to call it their own and not a Super Smash Brothers clone. I'll give you they use the main idea oh, excuse me. They use the main idea of Super Smash Brothers but they changed enough of it so this game is Sony's own original idea. So I feel like they followed the 70-30 rule quite well with this game. Honestly, I don't know yet because I haven't played it. No one has actually played the full version of this game. So before you say this is a carbon copy of Super Smash Bros. Or before you say that it's just a copy of whatever. Play the game first. Stop judging it. Stop having your little predictions on what you summarize or think about the game's going to be. Actually play it first. Um... Yeah, but this happens all the time, especially with Nintendo. Um, the last great example that I could remember was uh, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, and how they said it was a carbon copy of uh, Mario Kart. Honestly, again, this game kept with the 30, the 70-30 rule, where they changed enough of it so that it's their own unique Sega game. Okay, yes, they could, took the main idea of Super, Mar of Super Mario Kart, but they changed it. They put Sega's... They don't have Ma Nintendo characters. They have Sega's own characters. 
They have tracks inspired by Sega games. They have their own music. They have three different versions of cars. They have the normal car. They have planes. They have monster trucks. No, monster trucks and planes go together. And they have uh, motorcycles. They have. Um, they also have their own items from game from their own games and a bunch of bonus missions. And they did it where I feel this game is its own original idea because they changed enough of it so that it is their own original game that they don't have to give credit to Mario Kart or Crash Team Racing or whatever game you think this copied off of. So, yeah, th that's basically all my thoughts. Um, I do think the 70-30 rule applies to video games, uh, especially game design, because, um, a lot of game, a lot of, just in general, a lot of games have very similar level designs or very similar, similar features, but as long as they change it enough so that it can be considered their own original idea, I think it's perfectly fine. So, before you guys, uh, you guys can tell me what you think in the comments. Um, tell me if you agree with me, tell me if you disagree with me. Um... Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I just think games follow the 70-30 rule, where if they change 70% of a of, uh, source material, and keep about 30, so 30% is about the main idea of what it is. For Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, that's having a racing game with a whole bunch of characters from the same, uh, company racing and using items and blowing stuff up and having an all-out fun game. Or in PlayStation All-Stars, they kept the idea of having uh, all the characters in a company fight one another in, like, basically a party mode. Like, a party fighter. But they changed enough of it so that they can call it their own original idea. So, before you start saying, like, oh, it's just a copy of this and it's just a copy of that, actually play the game first. Um, don't, like judge it just because they took a main idea of something doesn't make it bad um so yeah like i honestly think they changed enough of it so that it is their own original material so um anyway guys i'm gonna end it here thanks for watching tell me what you think tell me if you think the 70 30 rule should apply to video games i don't know if it does um i think it does because game design is kind of like in the same field as advertising, almost. It's in like the same category. It's, it's in the same world. It's, it's like an art design thing. So I assume the 70-30 rule applies to video games. I'm not sure. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think it's a good rule or if you could take 30% of something. Or take something, change 70%, keep 30%, and call it your own original work. Think, um... Tell me if you think that's a good idea, if it's a bad idea. Tell me your thoughts on PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, um, or, Super, or Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, or other games that are like this. Um, write in the comments, tell me, um, tell me what you think. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. Try to keep it clean, people. Mainly because I, I guess a lot of kids watch this. I know, I have a lot of younger viewers, especially from my Let's Plays and stuff, so... Try to keep it clean as much as possible. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys for another rant. If not, I'll see you guys during my Let's Plays, during my How to Draw videos, all that good stuff. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please tell me what you think, and goodbye.